in this session we are going to talk about centroids and center of gravity okay so let us first talk about center of gravity what is center of gravity center of gravity is simply the point of application of the force due to gravity okay so what is it it is point of application of force due to gravity we also know that force due to gravity is simply the weight of the body so in other words it is point of application of the weight of the body it is the point where your weight acts okay something like this obviously this is a big body right this body in itself is composed of many number of elements okay these elements themselves are going to have their own weights right each of these elements is going to have a weight acting downwards okay something like this we want to find out what is the net resultant of all these forces net resultant of all these weights okay and where does it lie on this body is it over here or is it over here or where is that okay let's analyze a flat horizontal plate and try to determine its center of gravity this is a flat horizontal plate okay so over here i have a small element of this plate we are going to assume that the weight of this element is dw okay and the weight of this plate is w okay so let us assume that the coordinates of this element is x comma y and the coordinates where the center of gravity exists point a is x bar comma y bar okay we are going to have many such small elements right all throughout this body we are going to have many such small elements okay so what is the moment due to all such small elements let us first find out the moment due to this small element the moment due to this small element is going to be this is x okay if you take position vector to this point this is going to be what this is going to be xi plus yj right into this weight vector okay this weight vector is going like this okay so what is my dw vector my dw vector is going to be cross dw and this direction is minus k okay so it is going to be cross minus dw k so let's write it like this okay so this is my moment due to element e1 okay let's call this as element e1 so the moment due to element e1 is equal to is equal to this okay if you just expand this you are going to get i into k okay look you have i you have j you have k i cross j is k j cross k is i k cross i is j okay so what is i into k i into k is minus j okay so i have plus x dw okay then i have j into k j into k is i so i am going to have minus y d w okay this is going to be this is j 